In what could be the first real test to Tuesday's landmark deal that saw the national government take over four key roles? At the Nairobi County Assembly, a Nairobi resident has moved to court challenging its constitutionality. Under a certificate of urgency, the petitioner Robin Karani argues that Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko is not authorized to transfer the functions of Nairobi County to any other entity, saying the decision to surrender key functions to the national government has denied Nairobi residents an opportunity to state their case on the issue. He wants the court to intervene and stop enforcement of the decision pending the hearing and determination of the case. And as the judiciary prepares to hear the matter, the development was to find its way on the floor of the House with senators divided on the legality of the move. The execution of the deed was a unilateral decision that does not appear to have been taken by the county government. The purported execution of the deed by Governor Songo is therefore not an act that speaks for and represents the wishes of the people of Nairobi. In this regard, it is therefore unconstitutional and illegal and for non-compliance with the law. There is three sections or articles of the Constitution which seems to not be consistent because if the president was asking, uh, exercising the powers for the suspension of the county government, the role of the Senate is set out very clearly in that regard. Even in pitch, impeachment, the role of the Senate is set out pro, uh, clearly. But in this regard, the role is not properly set out in, in, in the county government of Nairobi has failed the people of Nairobi. It can only be to give them an E for not working. In what could further split parliamentarians, a section of senators appeared to poke holes on the constitutionality of the process questioning whether it was conducted in line with the spirit of Article 187 of the Constitution. What is the role of the Nairobi City County Assembly in oversighting functions that have been transferred to national government. Number two, and related to the same, what is the role of the Senate in oversighting a function that is now already transferred to a national government? It's like toothpaste. The minute you squeeze it out, you cannot squeeze it back. So the obituary of Nairobi has been written. Senator Sakaja, you participated. You must be prepared. It's gone. It's gone, it's gone, forget it. This even as a section of civil society organization under the umbrella Kenya Twitter Kayo faulted the decision to transfer some functions to the national government, saying the development might act to derail ongoing efforts to entrench devolution in the country. Uh, to transfer powers and functions of Nairobi County are unconstitutional, illegal, null and void from the beginning. And as the debate rages, Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalo has defended the takeover of key functions, saying the latest development was within the law and it will not affect critical mandates of the devolved unit. According to Wamalwa, the move is meant to improve service delivery within the country's capital that is a key component of the country's economy. Because Nairobi is too important to all of us, being the seat of our government, being the capital of our country, and being uh, that uh, important in as far as our GDP uh, is concerned. Wamalo says the development will not interfere with the independence of the county as the assembly will retain its oversight legislative roles while the executive will still retain its role. The other functions and the role of the county government of Nairobi, including legislation on matters that concern Nairobi city, we remain with the elected leaders of the county assembly and I want to assure Speaker Elachi, the majority leader and all the elected leaders that uh, Nairobi uh, County remains and they will continue with their oversight and legislation roles and we will be briefing them as I've said on these developments. In a landmark agreement signed at State House on Tuesday, Governor Sonko handed back the county's health services, county transport services, county public works, utilities and ancillary services, and county planning and development to be managed by the national government pursuant to Article 187 of the Constitution. Suleiman Yeri, Channel 1 News.